Congressman Russell Fry is a member of the House Oversight Committee. He will be questioning this afternoon, and the Congressman joins me now. Seems to me the administration used the machinery of government to protect the Biden family. Are we going to hear about the cover-up today? I think so. I think you've got two brave whistleblowers that have come forward. They're coming into the sunlight for the American people to see. Their testimony is backed up by uh, FBI testimony just released this week that, that corroborates uh, some of the statements made by these whistleblowers. So I think uh, having them in front of, front of the American people today is going to serve a great deal of justice uh, to the weaponization of government. Pre former President Trump ripped into the Justice Department and the media for trying to bury any stories about Hunter Biden. Watch this, please. They haven't even gotten to the bottom of the laptop. They don't want to put the pictures in. They don't want to. They have pictures in there that anybody else, they go away for 10 years. What happened to Hunter is he got a traffic ticket. Other people are being sentenced to many years in jail for doing much less. He got a traffic ticket. The only good thing is the people know it's not going to happen. Hmm. All right, Congressman, will today's hearing change anything in the Hunter Biden laptop saga? I think so. At, at the end of the day, the House Oversight Committee and House Judiciary have done more in six months than the FBI and the DOJ have done in six years, continuing to highlight all these problems where it, the investigations are railroaded, where there's a cover-up, where you're not allowed to ask certain questions, where the FBI is tipped off uh, or, or uh, people are tipped off about uh, the IRS wanting to interview Hunter Biden and look at documents in his storage facility. So continuing to highlight this is going to guide not only future legislation, but the conduct and the course of these investigations. So we're going to keep shining a light for the American people on this. And every single day that goes by are more things that we're able to uncover. Can you give us clarity? Because there's lots of names of people involved, places, situations, titles, who said what to who. I think the public has a very hard time following it all. Can you deliver clarity to make it clear exactly what the administration has been up to? Can you do it? I think so. What, what at the beginning of this, you have a career IRS investigator, two of them, that have, were spent years on this case. That, that uncovered all these things, were ready to charge, were ready to indict, to bring these cases forward, and were stonewalled, were blocked, were impeded in every which way, and that's why they're here today. Because the DOJ and the FBI have, have allowed charges for the statute of limitations to go. Uh, they've, they've impeded this work for years. And then at the 11th hour, they, these IRS, these brave IRS whistleblowers were replaced on the investigation. So they're no longer part of this investigation. That is why we are here today, because for years, these people have dedicated their entire work week to, to doing this work. And, and, and when they finally uncover something uh, about the president's son, they are replaced uh, mm. within the IRS. Yeah. Yes, okay. How convenient. Uh, Congressman Russell Fry, Republican, South Carolina. Thanks for joining us, sir. We'll see you Thanks, later. Stuart. Thank you. Yes, sir.